been asked this question a million times. What's going on with Snoop's case? Well, today, I decided to share that with you. I'm coming to you to bring awareness to what's going on in the case of Adarin Ross. I will also support the comment that was made by Eric Stewart on why he isn't in jail and why he's not being charged for murder. The investigation on Snoop's case was done poorly by the chief of police in Winfield, Louisiana. Originally, you know, we thought that Tony Holden killed Snoop. That was the original person who was accused. However, after the autopsy came back, it ended up not being Tony Holden's bullet. And there were only three people there, two guns. Snoop didn't have a gun. So if Tony Holden didn't kill Snoop, who did? Okay, because of the business relationship that Tony Holden and the chief of police had is the real reason why the investigation was poor. In the words of the district attorney, they just did not try, which left the job for the district attorney pretty hard. You know, he's limited to what he can do because he was turned over by an investigation that was never really investigated. On the day of June 20th of 2013, when Adarin was killed, it was around four in the morning. Later on that day, some guys broke into the crime scene. So the first mishap is the crime scene was never protected. How do we know what could have been recovered had it been protected? I was also advised that the chief of police is the one responsible for taking Tony Holden away that day, which explains how easy and convenient it was for him to turn him in that later in a couple days later as well. I've done all that I can do. I've had to become an investigator. I've had to become the district attorney. I've done so much wrecking my brain just trying to figure out what happened to my kid. The chief of police have looked me in my eyes and told me that he was going to make sure that he crossed all his T's and dotted all of his I's. He told me that every time I spoke with him and he did neither. There has been several unsolved cases. People have lost their life and nothing has never been done about it. I'm in hopes that that stops today. Nothing's going to happen overnight, but I really believe this awareness is going to hopefully touch the hearts of those people responsible in the judicial system there in Winfield and just place it on their heart just to do the right thing. I am not asking anyone to toot the horn because he was Lil Snoop. I'm asking them to respect the life of a Darren Ross. Etrick made a statement, you know, why he's not in jail. Well, if the investigation was done correctly, sir, he probably would have been in jail. I've went through every single emotion that you can possibly think of because I was let down. I didn't choose for the chief of police or the district attorney to be the overseers of my son's case, but they did choose to become a chief of police as well as a district attorney. With that being said, there were some commitments that were taken by the chief as well as the district attorney that they have not fulfilled. I really don't want to place the blame on anyone, so I can't say like the district attorney, you know, just did not do his job. He's only he's limited to what he can do based on what's turned into him, which was a poor investigation. However, he is responsible now for prosecuting the killer. We have court scheduled for next month. Eric will be in court. He will not be charged with murder because of the poor investigation. And the charge that he is being charged with is illegal use of a weapon in a violent crime. And if you research that, in the state of Louisiana, that only carries up to two years max or a $1,000 fine. 
I cannot and I am not satisfied with that. A Darren was robbed that has never been recognized. I'm in hopes that this information will bring awareness to someone they can direct me to anyone that may can help it's not too late i believe that i can get some type of justice even though no amount of years given will be equal to the life of a darren ross however please just do your job is all i'm asking just do your job So I've wrecked my brain over and over trying to figure out what happened on June the 20th of 2013. The statements that were given just don't add up. I have been told so many different stories, so I don't know which one to believe. What I do know is that my son is dead. I do know that it was Edric Stewart's bullet, which was a smaller caliber bullet that killed him. And if nothing else, Etrick left Snoop, his bro, his friend. He left him, jumped in the vehicle which Snoop was driving, and he left him. So my question would be, where, did, where would the keys come from? And where would a person be going if they have not talked to the person who they're with? Like, what kind of, what kind of sense is that? I'm tired of all the lies. I'm tired of all the games being played with that judicial system, with the with you know, with Etrick and, and, and the threats. I am sick of it. All I want is for the people who signed up for their job to do their job. It makes no sense that we we as victims have to keep going through the same repetitive thing year after year after year. A Darren is not the first person to be murdered in Winfield with the unsolved case. And it's just sickening to know that these people sit there in their desk at work with a badge. <laughs> you don't deserve a badge. There are more things that I could touch bases with. I just want to make sure that I'm not speaking on anything because court is next month the trial for Edric Stewart will be next month I'm in hopes that this awareness will allow another charge to be given I'm in hopes that the investigation you know what we can do it's a, it's a it's a limit you know we're limited to what we are able to do but there is still some room for something to be done and I am determined to do whatever is necessary as a mother fights for justice. In 2015, I received a letter after Tony Holden was sentenced. And keep in mind, he got sentenced for being a convicted felon with a firearm. They gave him 20 years for a drug charge, 10 years for the convicted felon with a firearm. He also was charged with the same charge I believe it's originally. However, they ran it concurrent. He got his time. At that time, I was told that we would now go after Edric Stewart. But in 2015, I received a letter telling me that my son's case was closed. They didn't have enough decency to meet with me, give me a phone call. You sent me a letter. That was the most cowardice thing I've ever seen. Like, you don't have enough courage to call me or meet with me to look me in my face and tell me, hey, we're just not going to do anything about your son being killed. The district attorney dodged calls for me forever, but the day of court and the day of sentencing hearing for Tony Holden, he put on his Sunday best and want to walk hand in hand to the courthouse as if we're together. Like we're, you know, like I work, we work closely together. Like the games that these people play in these courtrooms, it just makes no sense. I'm probably the first person to ever talk about what's going on there in Winfield because I am so tired of the bullshit. You cannot keep allowing people to lose their life in that parish and nothing's, no one's being held accountable for it. All because of the relationships that, that, that are being you know held there. I 
fully believe what I was told about Tony Holden and the chief of police being in cahoots together. I fully believe that. I have my reasons, but I fully believe that. And due to that business relationship, the investigation for Snoop's case was poor. I mean, they just did not even try. There was blood in the truck. Why did you even release that vehicle that day? They interviewed Edric for five minutes the morning that Snoop was killed. Five minutes, and there's a dead person involved, and you interviewed him for five minutes. By the time I went to the uh, funeral home and got back to the police station, Edric was sitting outside. He has given me three or four different stories on the actions that were taken on that night. None of them add up. None of them make sense. I also received an email from Snoop's email asking for new music one month after Snoop was killed. Since a close friend of Snoop's, do you have any unheard music? I then went to the police station, logged into their computer through Gmail, showed them the email we received, asked them to track the IP address so we can find out who has a, um, Snoop's phone. That was never done. The fact that he was robbed has never been recognized, not one time. And I want to know why. If you try, how do you know you won't receive a positive result? When you don't try, you end up with no results. I've been quiet about his case. I, I made sure I kept it out of the limelight a lot because it was so personal for me and I understand that you you know everyone wanted to know what really happened with him it was so personal for me I just felt like you know I trusted that justice would be served I trusted that I was misled on so many occasions I wanted to go with a civil suit against the uh, police department for their negligence I was advised to wait until the criminal case was done. At that time, the statute of limitation had already passed, so I was not able to do anything. So this is my way of bringing awareness that in Winfield, Louisiana, they are really messing up. I've reached out to the Attorney General's office, who you know did respond. However, there's jurisdictions that has to be followed. There's certain uh, protocol that has to be followed. I went to the FBI, I went to the state police because I didn't feel comfortable with Wynn Parrish working on my son's case even though he was killed in that town based on that business relationship I just was not comfortable. It's sad that people are signing up for jobs that they don't want to do. The chief of police also uh, served time. He did six months for obstruction of justice in 2011. So can anyone tell me why is he still the chief of police in 2013? Why is he still the chief of police in 2017? Why are the citizens of that town still electing these same people and getting these same results? It's frustrating to know that justice isn't served. That's another blow to my heart. Once this case is done next month, I will return. I will share more information with everyone. But just know that I'm not giving up. I will continue to fight. I will continue to pray and I will continue to believe that a change will be made. If it's too late for a Darren Ross case, then I pray that my awareness will help the next victim's family if it happens to be one in that parish. You know, I really hope that these people find it somewhere in their heart to recognize that a life was lost and the person held responsible needs to be sentenced. All the fun and games, all the, you know, Misleading is, is very childish. It's not professional. I'm, 
I'm waiting now for a response. Like, you know, reaching out and no response. This is tiring for me. Heartbreaking for me. It's almost five years later and games are still being played. That is sickening. A Darren Ross life mattered. I'm not going to sit back and not say nothing. I'm not scared to put the facts out. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but I'm stating facts here. The police department in Winfield, Louisiana just failed to do a thorough job. Makes no sense. So we will see the results next month. I will detail more. I will tell you the story that was told to me on the events that happened on June the 20th of 2013. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. The lies, they don't add up. One thing I am is far from crazy and have a lot of common sense. Again, I am hoping that this information brings awareness. Is there anybody out there that can direct me to anyone that can help me? Everybody's screaming, long live Snoop. Everybody's screaming, little Snoop, my brother, my boy. Is there anyone that really care about the life of a Darren Ross? The first, um, the first time in court, I watched the people in the courtroom throw paper balls. <laughs> and I was like, are you serious? So this is who I have to depend on. There's so many different things. We have to keep in mind that the district attorney is very limited on what he can do. At the end of the day, you know, there is no I in team. So whether it was the chief of police fault or his assistant's fault, the judge's fault, it is a team. So when one mess up, the team has messed up. So the only, my frustration with the district attorney's office is, you know your team messed up. And you have the authority to do something about that. So what's holding you back? What's stopping you from doing the right thing? The district attorney compared him getting a DUI and embarrassing his family to my pain. These people. It's time out for all the shenanigans. It's time out for the games. All I'm asking for is for people to do the job that they signed up for. I'm not asking anyone to toot Snoop's horn. Just recognize that a life was lost in that parish and do your job. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. My mind's all over the place, so my conversation's probably all over the place. But you guys get the point. When I scream justice for Lil Snoop, I really mean that. Like, I mean that. Silence is the key for this one. People need to know what's going on in that parish. It's a bunch of bullshit. And it's not fair. And I'm just not going to go home and sit down why the killer plays games on social media with me. He deserves to be in jail for his actions. I forgive him because I have to do what's best for me. So there's no hard feelings. I'm not mad at Eric and I'm not mad at Tony. However, I am frustrated with their actions. So, Stay tuned. There is more to come. 
you know I'm still working on everything I'm just now piecing all of this together so you know it's taking me a while to even want to do anything uh, business wise because I still cannot believe that my kid is dead but it's going to be okay I do believe that it's going to be okay so if you guys can just share this video tell anybody that you know just make you know I'm just pushing for awareness at this point and I'm in hopes that with this awareness some changes can be made that's it and that's all you know I'm not again I'm not trying to uh, degrade anyone but the facts are the facts so when your actions don't line up with what you know you're supposed to do you degrade yourself I don't have that job to do when it comes to a Darren Ross do your job his life was lost that's not even being recognized it's not being recognized because of a dirty cop so that's all pretty much I have for you guys today again like I said I'll be back with you shortly in a couple months with more information I can detail things at that time you know just share 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 this video we want justice I want justice I thank everybody for tuning in and you already know what it is with me what's up Long live Lil Snoop. I'm out. And I'll keep you more up to date the closer we get. Okay. All right. So basically, if the if it always it lies back to you guys kind of being helpless in your hands tied because original uh, uh, investigation by the police department really wasn't you know accurate or it wasn't done to the best of the ability of the of the police force. Basically, is what I'm having to hear. I mean, I'm not going to publicly say they did a shit job. But I, we're having to redo a lot of the stuff that they did. I don't right. know any other way to put them to. Right.